Better to try something and catch the exception or test if it's possible first to avoid an exception. Should I test if something is valid or just try to do it and catch the exception? Is there any solid documentation saying that one way is preferred? Is one way more Pythonic? For example, should I? Or? Some thoughts. Pep20 says. Error should never pass silently. Unless explicitly silenced. Should using a try instead of an if be interpreted as an error passing silently? And if so, are you explicitly silencing it by using it in this way, therefore making it okay? I'm not referring to situations where you can only do things one way, for example. You should prefer try slash except over if slash else if that results in speedups, for example by preventing extra lookups, cleaner code, fewer lines slash easier to read. Often, these go hand in hand. Speedups. In the case of trying to find an element in a long list by the try, except is the best option when the index is probably in the list and the index error is usually not raised. This way you avoid the need for an extra lookup by if index is lower than when my underscore list. Python encourages the use of exceptions, which you handle as a phrase from dive into Python. Your example not only handles the exception, gracefully, rather than letting it silently pass, also the exception occurs only in the exceptional case of index not being found, hence the word exception. Cleaner code. The official Python documentation mentions if, easier to ask for forgiveness and permission and Rob Knight notes that catching errors rather than avoiding them, can result in cleaner, easier to read code. His example says it like this. Worse, we will look before you leap. Better, if, easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. In this particular case, you should use something else entirely. In general, though, if you expect the test to fail frequently, use if. If the test is expensive relative to just trying the operation and catching the exception if it fails, use try. If neither one of these conditions applies, go with whatever reads easier. Using try and accept directly rather than inside and if guard should always be done if there is any possibility of a race condition. For example, if you want to ensure that a directory exists, do not do this. If another thread or process creates the directory between ister and dir, you'll exit. Instead, do this. That will only exit if the foo directory can't be created. If it's trivial to check whether something will fail before you do it, you should probably favor that. After all, constructing exceptions, including their associated tracebacks, takes time. Exceptions should be used for things that are unexpected, or things where you need to jump more than one level of logic, for example where a break doesn't get you far enough, or things where you don't know exactly what is going to be handling the exception ahead of time, or things where checking ahead of time for failure is expensive, relative to just attempting the operation. Note that oftentimes, the real answer is neither, for instance, in your first example, what you really should do is just use .get to provide a default. As the other posts mention, it depends on the situation. There are a few dangers with using try slash accept in place of checking the validity of your data in advance, especially when using it on bigger projects. The code in the try block may have a chance to wreak all sorts of havoc before the exception is caught, if you proactively check beforehand with an if statement you can avoid this. 
If the code called in your try block raises a common exception type, like type error or value error, you may not actually catch the same exception you were expecting to catch, it may be something else that raised the same exception class before or after even getting to the line where your exception may be raised. For example, suppose you had The index error says nothing about whether it occurred when trying to get an element of index underscore list or my underscore list.